Hello friends, this is Jagdish Park Associate. Today's topic is thermodynamics. So in thermodynamics, I will be explaining a solved problem from the chapter ideal gases. Okay. So before going to this video, please press the subscribe button of our channel, the mechanical engineers team and also click the bell icon. So let's begin. First, I will read the question. 2 kilograms of an ideal gas are contained in a rigid cylinder at a temperature of 32 degrees Celsius. If 21.1 kilojoule of heat are added to the gas, calculate the following. A. The final temperature. B. The change of enthalpy. C. The change of entropy. Take gas constant R is equal to 0.317 kilojoule per kg Kelvin and gamma is equal to Cp by Cv which is equal to 1.26. Now I will analyze the question. There is a rigid cylinder and the rigid cylinder, cylinder is completely filled with gas. So the, so the mass of gas inside the cylinder is 2 kg and the temperature of the gas inside the cylinder is 32 degrees Celsius. Now the rigid cylinder is being heated. Therefore a 21.1 kilojoule of heat is being added to the gas. So in this question we have to find the values of the final temperature, the change of enthalpy, the change of entropy. Okay, by adding 21.1 kilojoule of heat to the gas, the temperature of the gas will, will get changed, which means the temperature of gas will increase. The enthalpy of the gas will get changed. The entropy of the gas will get changed. Okay, so in this question, we have to find the values of the final temperature, the change of enthalpy and change of entropy. So the gas constant for and the gas constant value is 0.317 kilojoules per kg Kelvin and the adiabatic constant is 1.26. Now I will store the given conditions from the question. First is mass of the gas which is 2 kg and it is represented as M. Next is initial temperature of the gas which is 32 degrees Celsius and it is represented as T1. Here the temperature is in degree Celsius. For calculation purpose we are, go we are going to represent the temperature values in Kelvin. For that just add 273 with 32 degrees Celsius. Therefore 273 plus 32 degrees Celsius which is 305 Kelvin. Okay, so the initial temperature of the gas is 305 Kelvin. Next is total amount of heat added to the gas which is 21.1 kilojoule and it is taken as Q1. Next is gas constant which is 0.317 kilojoules per kg Kelvin and it is taken as R. Next is adiabatic index or adiabatic constant which is 1.26 and it is taken as gamma. So by using these five conditions, we are going to find the values of the final temperature, the change of enthalpy and change of entropy. Now I will move to the solving technique. First I will find the values of Cp and Cv. By finding these two values, we can easily find the values of the final temperature, the change of enthalpy and change of entropy. For finding the values of Cp and Cv, we have to use the formulas of adiabatic constant and gas constant. First we have to create an equation by using adiabatic constant formula and next we have to find the value of Cv by using gas constant formula. When we have found the value of Cv then we can easily find the value of Cp. Okay. Now we will see the methods for finding the values of Cp and Cv. First we will use the formula of adiabatic constant and the formula is gamma is equal to Cp by Cv. We know the value of gamma which is 1.26. Therefore 1.26 is equal to Cp by Cv. Now bring this Cv to the RHS. We get Cp is equal to 1.26 Cv. So we have created an equation between Cp and Cv and consider this equation as equation 1. Now we will find the value of Cv. For that we will use the formula of gas constant and the formula is R is equal to Cp minus Cv. We know the value of R which is 0.317 kilojoules per kg Kelvin and for Cp we will substitute equation 1. What is equation 1? Equation 1 is Cp is equal to 1.26 Cv. So in equation 2 this Cp will be replaced by 1.26 Cv. Okay. So the next step will be 0.317 kilojoules per kg Kelvin is equal to 1.26 Cv minus Cv. So here 1.26 Cv minus Cv is 0.26 Cv. So therefore 0.317 kilojoules per kg Kelvin is equal to 0.26 Cv. Now bring this 0.26 to the denominator of LHS. We get Cv is equal to 0.317 divided by 0.26 kilojoules per kg Kelvin. 
So here 0.317 divided by 0.26 is 1.22. So the CV value is 1.22 kilojoules per kg Kelvin. And consider this one as equation 3. So by using gas constant, we have found the we have found the values of we have found the value of CV. Okay. Now substitute the CV value in equation 1. We get Cp is equal to 1.26 into 1.22 kilojoules per kg Kelvin. So 1.26 into 1.22 is 1.53. So the Cp value is 1.53 kilojoules per kg Kelvin. Consider this one as equation 4. So we have found the values of Cp and Cv. So now we, can, now we can easily find the values of final temperature, the change of enthalpy and change of entropy. Now we will find the value of final temperature which is T2. For that we have to use the formula of heat added. And the formula is Q1 is equal to MCV T2 minus T1. So in this formula we know the value of Q1 and we know the value of M, we know the value of CV, we know the value of T1. So we can easily find the value of T2. Okay. So just substitute the values of Q1, M, CV and T1. We get Q1 is 21.1 kilojoules, M is 2 kg, CV is 1.22 and T1 is 305 kilojoules. So just substitute these values in equation 5. So by substituting these values we get 21.1 kilojoules is equal to 2 kg into 1.22 kilojoules per kg Kelvin into T2 minus 305 Kelvin. In this RHS I am going to split the numerical terms and SO units for these two terms. Okay, So I get, we get 21.1 kilojoules is equal to 2 into 1.22 into kg into kilojoules per kg Kelvin into T2 minus 305 Kelvin. So here 2 into 1.22 is 2.44 and kg into kilojoule per kg Kelvin is kilojoule per Kelvin because kg kg gets cancelled. So the next step will be 21.1 kilojoule is equal to 2.44 kilojoule per Kelvin into T2 minus 305 Kelvin. Now bring this 2.44 kilojoule per Kelvin to the denominator of LHS. We get T2 minus 305 Kelvin is equal to 21.1 kilojoule divided by 2.44 kilojoule per Kelvin. So in this RHS, I am going to split the numerical terms and S unit. Therefore, T2 minus 305 Kelvin is equal to 21.1 divided by 2.44 into kilojoule divided by kilojoule per Kelvin. Here, 21.1 divided by 2.44 is 8.64. And kilojoule divided by kilojoule per Kelvin is kilojoule into Kelvin divided by kilojoule because A divided by B by C is A into C divided by B. Okay. Therefore, kilojoule divided by kilojoule per Kelvin is kilojoule into Kelvin divided by kilojoule. Okay. So the next step will be T2 minus 305 Kelvin is equal to 8.64 kilojoule into Kelvin divided by kilojoule. So here kilojoule into Kelvin divided by kilojoule is Kelvin because kilojoule kilojoule gets cancelled. Therefore T2 minus 305 Kelvin is equal to 8.64 Kelvin. Now bring this 305 Kelvin to the RHS. We get T2 is equal to 8.64 Kelvin plus 305 Kelvin. So 8.64 Kelvin plus 305 Kelvin is 313.64 Kelvin. So the T2 value is 313.64 Kelvin and consider this one as equation 6. So now we have found the value of final temperature which is 313.64 Kelvin. So now we will find the value of change of enthalpy. Change of enthalpy is represented as dH and the formula for change of enthalpy is dH is equal to mcp T2 minus T1. In this formula, we know the values of M, C, P, T2 and T1. So we can easily find the value of dH. M is 2 kg, C, P is 1.53 kJ per kg Kelvin, T2 is 313.64 Kelvin, T1 is 305 Kelvin. Therefore, dH is equal to 2 kg into 1.53 kJ per kg Kelvin into 313.64 Kelvin minus 305 Kelvin. Okay, here 313.64 Kelvin minus 305 Kelvin is 8.64 Kelvin. So the next step will be dH is equal to 2 kg into 1.53 kilojoules per kg Kelvin into 8.64 Kelvin. In this RHS, I am going to split the numerical terms and S units. Therefore, dH is equal to 2 into 1.53 into 8.64 into kg into kilojoule per kg Kelvin into Kelvin. 
Here 2 into 1.53 into 8.64 is 26.43 and kg into kilojoule per kg kelvin into kelvin is kg into kilojoule into kelvin divided by kg into kelvin. So the next step will be dh is equal to 26.43 into kg into kilojoule into kelvin divided by kg into kelvin. Here kg into kilojoule into kelvin divided by kg into kelvin is kilojoule because kg kg gets cancelled and kelvin kelvin gets cancelled. Therefore dh is equal to 26.43 kilojoule. Consider this one as equation 8. So the change of enthalpy value is 26.43 kilojoule. Now next we will find the value of change in entropy which is delta s. Here the process is constant volume process. So the formula for change in entropy during constant volume process is delta S is equal to M C V log T2 by T1. In this formula we know the values of M, C V, T2 and T1. M is 2 kg, C V is 1.22 kilojoules per kg Kelvin, T2 is 313.64 Kelvin, T1 is 305 Kelvin. Okay, therefore delta S is equal to 2 kg into 1.22 kilojoules per kg Kelvin into log 313.64 Kelvin divided by 305 Kelvin. Here log 313.64 Kelvin divided by 305 Kelvin is 0 0.028. So the next step will be delta S is equal to 2 kg into 1.22 kilojoules per kg Kelvin into 0 0.028. In this RHS, I am going to split the numerical terms and S units. Therefore, delta S is equal to 2 into 1.22 into 0 0.028 into kg into kilojoule per kg Kelvin. Here, 2 into 1.22 into 0 0.028 is 0 0.068 and kg into kilojoule per kg Kelvin is kg into kilojoule divided by kg into Kelvin. So, the next step will be delta S is equal to 0 0.068 into kg into kilojoule divided by kg into kelvin. Here kg into kilojoule divided by kg into kelvin is kilojoule per kelvin because kg kg gets cancelled. Therefore the delta S value is 0 0.068 kilojoule per kelvin. Consider this one as equation 10. Okay, So we have found that the value of change in entropy and the value is 0 0.068 kg per kelvin. In this question we have found all the answers. Now it's time to list out the answers. So the first one is final temperature. The value is 313.64 Kelvin. The second one is change in enthalpy. The value is 26.43 kilojoule. Third is change in change in entropy. The value is 0 0.068 kilojoule per Kelvin. So this brings an end to the explanation of this problem. I hope you all would have understood. If any doubts are there, please do comment in comment box. And remember to like, share and comment on our videos. Thank you friends.